This is a very exciting time to be in the field of genetic epidemiology. It's one of the fastest growing fields. Not only are we discovering the genetic basis of disease, but we're also understanding how genetic factors interact with environmental factors, social factors to influence disease and well-being. UCI has a really rich history in genomics. We were one of the national genome centers during the Human Genome Project, so it's always had an emphasis and an understanding of what genomics could do. I chose UCI mainly because there is a personalized approach to every single student. You know, I visited here, I met some of the faculty, I, I saw some of the facilities and was just kind of blown away with the things that would be possible for me to do here. So UCI is one of the youngest institutions in the UC system and it is growing incredibly fast. We're on the Susan and Henry Samueli College of Health Sciences and it includes the schools of nursing, medicine, what will be a new school of population health as well as a new school of pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences. There's a number of centers. We have an Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. We have an Institute for Clinical and Translational Science, the Stem Cell Center, the Cancer Center. We have just all the pieces in place here at UCI to really go through this whole process from the patient and through the molecular analyses, but then back to the patient and, and really treat those diseases. One of the benefits of the Chow Family Comprehensive Cancer Center is we are the only comprehensive cancer center funded by the National Cancer Institute in Orange County. So epidemiology is kind of critical to understanding cancer. When we think about cancer, it's not just understanding what genetic factors contribute, but it's also understanding what environmental factors um, in terms of exposures or other things that contribute to the development of cancer. The neat thing about epidemiology is epidemiology is a study where you can incorporate both aspects. The Department of Epidemiology, UCI, Cancer Center, we all do very state-of-the-art kind of genomics research. So around campus, you can find people doing single cell sequencing, you can find the stem cell center, you can find the microbiome, you can find all kinds of different things that are really the hottest technologies. As an epidemiologist, one of the most important things to us is data. And through the UC system, we have access to over 13 million records um, of individuals that we can use for research. So bioinformatics is a critical component of genomics research because it takes in all the data from your experiment, integrates it with all the other relevant data out there, and then tries to find a plausible biological mechanism. My work would not be possible in bioinformatics without the use of the resources such as the high performance computing facility, which has the compute clusters and the ability to analyze all this big data. I'm working on Jenny's study with Dr. Edwards, uh, and our main focus here is uh, finding associations between genetic variants and uh, metabolic syndrome. Usually these kind of studies, they focus on just white population, while in our study, we have a chance to look at uh, Japanese Americans, African Americans, and Mexican Americans. Uh, that makes our study very valuable. It's very important to think about the ethical, legal, and social implications of genomic research so that we make sure that we don't discriminate against people based on genetic information and that we make sure that this genetic information benefits everybody equally. We also train our students to think about these issues and that's something that's very unique about UCI is not all programs integrate the ethical, legal, and social implications into the genetic epi research. In my own research, we've been able to use genomics to try to understand and get at the root causes of what uh, is going wrong in the cells that are affected by these various neurological disorders. And in particular, I've studied Huntington's disease, which is a disease that strikes individuals typically in the prime of their lives. And it's through these kind of multi-dimensional genomics approaches that you can start to get a handle on these diseases. Genomics is really potentially going to transform the landscape for understanding neurological diseases. What inspires me about UCI is the potential here to make a big impact on improving health. I'm also amazed by the quality of the students that we have. They are extraordinarily impressive and it makes me very confident in the future. UCI is really great. Um, it's a team of researchers that are all 
uh, united around a common goal of understanding human disease, uh, but we each bring our own diverse interests and experience, and that allows us to really um, synthesize all of that into a cohesive, you know, really, really exciting department to be a part of.